I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, is the IWGP world title still prestigious, you feel me? Now, for the longest time, people been saying the IWGP world title is the most prestigious title in the world, you feel me? Or the other world championships, because they, the they have the best matches, you feel me? Okada, Tanahashi, Abushi, AJ, Omega, all of them had great runs with their belt, you feel me? Now, I feel like that thing has definitely changed in the last couple of years. I don't think the IWGP world title is like how it used to be, you feel me? Like, I, I think, if we being honest, I think the UK title is very prestigious. It's been around for like four years and only had three champions. That's a prestigious belt. I feel like the Universal title is kind of prestigious. You feel me? Brock had it for Mad Long. Now Roman got it. Um, you can even say the AEW World title is mad prestigious. Only three people had it. Jericho, John Moxley, and now Omega. You feel me? You can't say that no more about the IWGP World title, bro. Let's go back to Wrestle Kingdom 14, right? So two years ago. They built this whole Wrestle Kingdom around the Dash for Gold thing, you feel me? Where they had both belts on the line. The first two night Wrestle Kingdom and they had both belts on the line. Very cool concept, but it was a success, you feel me? So the, who was the world champion at the time? Okada. So Okada beat uh, Abushi night one and Naito beat Jay White night one. And then night two, Naito beat Okada. Then he beat Kenta. Then the pandemic happened, you feel me? So after the pandemic happens, Evil beats Naito for the belt and joins Bullet Club. Then Naito beats Evil back, gets it back. And then he loses it to Abushi. He lost to Abushi at Wrestle Kingdom. And then night two, he lost Abushi beat Jay White. And then Abushi lost to Will Osprey. The real Osprey thing was a failure. We can say that now. Melter saying is like more than an injury. Like it's bigger than just a Nick injury. That's why I took the belt off of him. He's making it sound like we might not ever see real Osprey in New Japan again. So that real Osprey telling is a failure. He gives up the belt and then Shingo Takagi wins it. This so this is like what, two years already six different champions? In the last two years? That's 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 being passed around too much. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I just feel like New Japan is definitely not the new kid on the block, bro. Like we got NXT, we got AW, Impact, we like we got mad great wrestling, you feel me? New Japan is not the only place with great wrestling. So I feel like they lost their steam a lot, bro. Again, so. And now they having Okada versus they having Shingo versus Bushi again. At the Tokyo Dome show. It's just like a bunch of matches, bro. Against a bunch of rematches back and forth. They need an influx of new talent. I ain't gonna hold you. I will want mad niggas from New Japan Strong to go to New Japan Prime. I ain't gonna hold you. Darren Young. Uh, Tom Lawler. Like, as mad people that I feel like could make an impact on New Japan. Like, Prom. If they wasn't in the States. You feel me? That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.